Hi everyone, it's Cherie from Paper Pieces and Leftovers. So I am doing the Franklin and Franny I Love You S'more with the two bears sitting on the, uh, the s'mores. There you go. I've cut out all of my paper and I've inked it because a little birdie told me that you guys have been running out of videos to watch and you need more. So I've dry pieced this and I put all my markings, which is the white chalk. That way I know where they go. And I put little lines, uh, just that way I know which side I actually marked. Now, dry piecing is what this is called. I've mentioned it before. Quite a few of us do it just to make sure that we can figure out which way the pieces actually get um, laid down so that way they align appropriately. And once you've done the pattern once though, you don't have to do this over and over because you already kind of get the gist of it. I'm gonna um, wipe my fingers though, just to get all the oils off. Now for my colors, I actually kept them aside. For my red hearts, I used grenadine. Um, this is basil paper. Whoops, my fault. Um, this is old paper from Joann's called Craft. More coordinations, older paper, lipstick. Um, and then this is more coordinations, French roast. And then my caramel from 12 by 12 cardstock shop, American Crafts. And that is the color I did my bears in. But, so the lipstick I knew, um, the closest one, mm, that's a good question because I don't know if this one is still carried or not. I think, yeah, I think I would go with the bubble gum because once you ink the edges, I know that it's lighter, but if you wanted more of a deep pink, then um, lip gloss. But these are going to be the two in between. Sorry, I was just kind of... And some of these papers, they come out of our stash. You may or may not be able to find them. I've been collecting paper for 20 years, so it's really hard for me to say that it's even still available or not. Now, I did import this into Crick Cut Design Space, and I saved it. Let me pull it back up. I'm just trying to cover everything I can possibly think of because it's going to be done in fragments. Um, I'm going to do this part first only because it's easier for me to do section by section and then put it all together. 11.0 uh, width and the height is 11.45. I just changed the width and it auto adjusts my height and my glue just burped onto my chocolate, which is okay because I think that part's covered. Yes, covered enough. So when I dry pieced this, what I did was I had laid my dark brown down and then after that, I took the bottom and I laid it across and that's how I sized my pink one up. The only thing that I haven't really investigated is the top to see which way that lays down, but I guess we'll find out together. Now for this piece here, this bottom slants up and that part slants up with it. So that was one way that I found the right piece to go correctly. That was a little too much glue where that one spot kind of, there we go. All right, time for my bone folder. Um, <clears throat> now for this piece, nope. All right, so the slanted piece, the corner, it's more rounded on the bottom left, and the right piece is 
the same on the bottom right or the bottom right corner is the same as the bottom right corner and the top right piece just or the left piece ugh, is going to be more rounded and I'm going to guess that they are going to butt up no do we want it that way or this way I think that way so I, I don't know if it's right or not I'm just going to glue the top down first and then I'm going to glue the side they're sitting on it so there's not going to be that much of a lip a top for you guys to see so I think I'm okay with that I have an eye doctor appointment tomorrow night just that way I can get my vision checked because it seems that as I'm, you know, mid-40s now, I think my vision's changing. I'm also blind as a bat. And I didn't need glasses until I was about 12. I'm assuming mm, growing up with three brothers, playing a lot of sports, um, roller hockey with my brothers, you know, head injuries, that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't need glasses until... I was 12. Just one day I told my mom I couldn't see when we went to the drive-in. And the heart goes here. I will go ahead and shade all this after, but I am now going to dry piece our little bears. And then we will pick up on the next video with them. Um, I've, like I said, got everything cut out and inked. I'm going to upload this onto YouTube and then we will work both of the bears because they are sitting left and right with feet pointing each direction. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video.